Hey Matrix, welcome to the next video in the Maths Paper 1 Pass Paper playlist. Uh, today we'll be covering question 10 of the November 2020 Pass Paper. Uh, if you don't have the paper, there's a link in the description below where you can download the paper as well as the memo. Once you have that question, we can continue with the video. Okay, let's get started with question 10. Okay, so question 10 uh, is starting with the probability section. So it says, in a certain country, 10 digit telephone numbers uh, with the following format were introduced okay so we have the area code which is made up of three digits we have the exchange code which is also made up of three digits and then we have the actual number which is made up of four digits okay so it says your yeah, digits may be repeated then it asks 10.1 how many possible 10 digit telephone numbers could be uh, formed okay now remember we're dealing with digits from zero to nine okay which means there's a total of 10 numbers that we can use. Okay. Now we're allowed to repeat numbers. Okay. So for the first slot, there's 10 possibilities because we can go zero to nine. Okay. For the second spot, there's also 10 possibilities because once again, we can have repeats of numbers. So it's zero to nine. Okay. And for every single spot in this 10 digit number, okay, we can have repeats, so therefore there's 10 possibilities for every single spot. Okay, so you could have the number 111111111, okay, that is allowed. Okay, so the total number, okay, we'd be multiplying everything together. Okay, so it's 10 to the times 10 times 10 times 10, 10 times. So your answer here is 10 to the power of 10 possibilities. Okay. So here we're dealing with combinations. Okay. Now, 10.2 says uh, certain restrictions were placed on the group of digits. Okay. So it says the area code must be three digits and the first digit cannot be a zero or a one. Okay. So let's just look here quickly. Let me draw the dashes again. 10.2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. One, two, three, four. Okay. So it's telling us that the first three digits, okay, the first digit in that set cannot be a zero or a one. Okay. So that means I start counting from two all the way to nine. Okay. Which means how many possibilities are there? There's eight possibilities. So for this one, okay, goes from two to nine. So there's eight possibilities. Okay. But for the rest of them, there's 10 possibilities for this first set of three. Okay. Then the next criteria says the exchange code, so the next three digits, okay, must be three digits and the first and second digit cannot be a zero or a one. Okay. So same as previously. Okay. So now these two over here may not have a zero or a one. Okay. Which means that we're counting from two to nine. For both of them okay so two to nine there'll be eight possibilities and again there'll be eight possibilities because we can have repeats as it indicated in the beginning for us okay so over here it says it can have repeats okay then oh sorry this last digit there'll be 10 options for it okay now the last thing says the number part okay so the last four digits Okay, must be four digits, and the first digit must be a zero or a one. Okay, therefore, this one over here must be either a zero or a one, which means how many possibilities are there? There's two possibilities, so it's two. We're only looking at zero and one, so it's two possibilities. And the rest can be any number. Okay, so if we multiply, if we times everything together since that's what we'll be doing okay we can see we'll end up with eight one two three eight cubed multiplied by two multiplied by ten to the power of one two three four five six okay and if you end up working that out on your calculator you'll get down to a number of one oh two four times ten to the power of nine possibilities. Okay, so it's quite a large number of possibilities that we can get for this format. Okay, now 
10.2.2, okay, says determine the possibility or the probability that any random chosen 10 digit telephone number would be a valid number, meaning it meets all these criteria. Okay, so we saw in 10.1 the total number of 10 digit numbers that are possible, and we've just worked out the number of possible numbers that meets this criteria. So the probability, so 10.2.2, okay, your probability is going to be the number of uh, possible outcomes, okay, what we're looking for. So that's this 1024 times 10 to the 9 divided by the total possible outcomes that there are. And that we saw was 10 to the 10. Okay, so we're dividing this by 10 to the power of 10. If you plug that into your calculator, uh, you will get down to an answer of 0 0.1024. Okay, why? Because that's a 9, that's a 10, so it will have 1, 0 in the front. Okay, which means that's our probability, or you can write it in percentage, which is 10.24%. Ah, okay, and that's how we do question 10. Okay, if you found today's video helpful, then please leave a thumbs up on the video. It does help a lot. Uh, please go check out the channel. There's chemistry and physics papers available as well. Uh, while you're there, please consider subscribing to the channel. It does help a lot. And remember, it's never too late to have an OIC moment.